It's the second most populous city in the entire country. Los Angeles, California, the site for our game today. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Number we'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Nice run, and he's brought down. Game of seven yards. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Draw play, and taken down in the backfield. Loss of two by the halfback. That is a loss of two yards. Third down. throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Wisconsin's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the coach. It does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find the one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. It's second and nine. Ball on the 35. The pass falls incomplete. Number 15 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. He steps out at the 34-yard line. Reception. Gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. the ground with the tailback. They'll bring him down at the 32. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Gets it out to his receiver and he can't hang on. Number eight was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. The Trojans really took care of business on defense that first time out, Herbie. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment, we're seeing that again today. 
I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 38. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll bring up third and four. He scrambles. And down he goes around the 49-yard line. The play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain in a first down. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. Takes the toss left. He makes his way to about the 42. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Nice run up the middle. He picks up the first on that run. This is what is called the old counter play. You see the lineman pull first one down. way. The play is designed to go the other way. And here the tailback picks up nice yardage and another first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. And they make the stop at the 38. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. So the Badgers running back sidelined earlier with that injury. Right now, though, it looks like he's uh, warming up and trying to get back in the ballgame. Again, he'll get the call. Good outside run there. And this is the eighth play of the drive. That makes it third and three. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. He's taken down at the 24. I like the call here, looking for the big fella here on third down. They have a lot of faith in him as a receiver. Right there, he showed you why. From the 24-yard line, first down. Brought down right around the 22-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. This is the 10th play of this drive. complete and he stopped immediately number 26 brings him down at the 16 yard third down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down we played one still no score Set to resume action here in the second quarter. We've got a tight ball game. Nice run there. So he got a few yards on that carry. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. From the 10-yard line, first down. To his receiver, and he's taken down at about the five yard line. That brings up second. 13th play of the drive coming up. So the Badgers lose one of their key players with that injury earlier. Still in the locker room. We don't know the severity, but unlikely that he'll play any more football this afternoon. Touchdown, Wisconsin! job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a 13-play, 65-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. 
In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Tackle at the 27. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 27. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made right around the 38-yard line. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. Nice play fake. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. This guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. Wisconsin up seven points. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Dog four! Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Gain of 10 on the play. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 15. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice that job with first downs, down. and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. First and 10. Ball on the 15. He's tackled after positive yardage. Good for a gain of six yards. That brings up second and five. Cut and left, cut and left. Go down, go down. Mark 55, Mark 55. Here we go, here we go. Three, nine. And he makes it out to about the eight yard line. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. Number 48, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Wisconsin can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into this. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful at their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. First and 10. Ball on their own 48. On play action, he'll scramble. Decides to slide, so the keeper goes for about seven yards. 
The Trojans will use their first time out of the half. He's going to air it long. He caught it. The 10. Spectacular play. And now it's first and goal. USC will have one timeout remaining. Man, that was an impressive looking play. When you can slice apart a defense like that, it puts a seed of doubt in their minds. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. They go back to him on a quick throw. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That'll be a loss of one. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Second and goal. They're at the three. Second down. Ready. Caught end zone for the touchdown. He fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. So a five-play, 77-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. And Brad, you're going to move the ball at will when you're able to execute the pass game like that. Those big plays eventually are going to lead you to a touchdown. The score now, 10-7. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Wisconsin's team, when you look at them, I think they got to be happy with how versatile they can be because they do have a star that is not having a star-type game right now, and yet they got the lead here, and we're almost at halftime. Yeah, I think they've really shown their versatility as an offense. Uh, to think that we would be sitting here close to this first half being over and to see that their go-to wide receiver is not putting up these big numbers, and yet they still have the lead, just tells you a lot about their coaching, the in-game adjustments, and the way the rest of the teammates of these receivers stepped up. We're at the one-minute mark. First half, Wisconsin has a three-point lead. Grabs it and hammered right there. Gets out to around the 32. Wisconsin's going to use their first time out of the half here. From their own 32-yard line. First down. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Braddy drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. Going deep, lays it out there. Swatted away. It can be really difficult to guard these long passes because you got to keep up with the receiver, make sure you don't run over him, and look out for the ball. That was not an easy play. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. Going deep. Almost picked off. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. So the Badgers with a three-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But 
Great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get some of the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait. Don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Wisconsin holds a field goal lead. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. That's a great tackle at the 36. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Three down, three down. Mark 55, Mark 55. They'll bring him down at the 37. The Gain of one on the play. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 37 yard line. Tackled after decent pickup. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. Booming kick. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. The offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Just throws this one away. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Here we go. Gets it out quickly, and down he goes, right around midfield. He's got 100 yards in the game now. You gotta love this quarterback-receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. Throw. He's taken down around the 43 yard line. Number 13 makes the tackle at the 43 yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike, let's go. Brought down at the 41. Gain of two yards. That'll make it third and one. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Try to change the field position with his kick. 
And here's the, wait a minute, the upback's got it. He's taken down at the 43. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Wisconsin is up by three. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They get four yards on the halfback option. From their own 47-yard line, second down. forced to punt it away here. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They go counter right. And they make the stop right around the 28-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Tailback brought down for a loss. Him in the backfield. No gain. That'll bring up third and two. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. It's first and ten. Ball on the 33. Two down, two down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Set, line 80. One. He'll get it again. And he carries the ball for a nice game. run up the middle makes the tackle so at the end of three the Badgers in front 10-7 all right we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter He's got it with room to run. Tackle around the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line. First down. Setting up the play action. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. Here's the eighth play of the series. Run left side. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. 
from the 34-yard line. It's first down. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He would tackle immediately. Number 87 with the tackle, the 37-yard line. That brings up second and 13. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Here we go. Receivers got it on the screen. Tackle made around the 32-yard line. That screen pass nets maybe five yards. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. tackled right away. That's the third time they've converted on third down on this drive. When you can stay on the field in these kind of situations, you're doing something right. This is the 12th play of this two drive. Two times, two times. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Right. Mike is 59. Right. 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 Touchdown, and that gives them the lead. That was a big, big score, and it makes it a one-possession game, but we've still got a lot of football left. And he adds the extra point. It was a 12th play, 79-yard drive, and the result, seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. So our score, 14-10. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. He's to the 40. And he's finally brought down at the 39. That's a game of 36 on the play. First down. First and 10 following that big run. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Mike 55, Mike Less than three minutes in the game. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it third and five. Third down, five yards to go. Ball in the 34. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled at the 14-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 14. And they got him for a loss. The defense was all over that draw play. They got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. He makes it to the 15-yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. 
Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. sack it's now fourth and long a little over a minute in the game well that one should do it a fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game and they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long not much you can do there you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance Here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game. And every possession is going to count from here on out. Pass him down. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And they finally make the stop at the 39-yard line. Wisconsin's going to take their first time out of the half. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Nice run there. Wisconsin's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Give it to him again, and he's going to lose yardage. So the Badgers using their third and last timeout. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. Handoff to the right. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. And a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. Wisconsin staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.